Althaus Austin lived from March 17th, 1866 to 1952. She was introduced in photography from her uncle who was a Danish sea traveler that bought her back a camera. She was taking photos ever since. She had an unconventional childhood. She grew up in a house with six adults in which she was the only child. So she had all of the attention on her at all times. Even as an adult, she did not live a conventional life in which she never married and lived with a woman named Gertrude Tate who had run away from the Victorian way of living. She was a well-rounded person. She was passionate about her photography, but was also very athletic and very good at tennis. She had various other hobbies as well, including bicycling and gardening, which she greatly enjoyed. She was also known as a bit of a socialite. She appeared in New York Social Register and was a member of the Richmond County Country Club, which still remains today. And she also began the Staten Island Garden Club. Later in her life, although she had a very comfortable, she was born into a very comfortable living, she experienced hard times. She lost her home and was eventually admitted into a poorhouse, the Staten Island Farm Colony, because of the stock market crash. It was not long after her afterwards that her work was actually truly discovered that she actually passed away in the nursing home that she lived in for only five months. As for her professional life, she took her camera everywhere, even though it often weighed all her equipment about 50 pounds, and she photographed everything. Her photos are often known as being very unique, very different, very very unconventional, which was also reflected her. Her subjects began on Staten Island, but she later branched out to other parts of New York. She was known to capture her interests, her friends. You know, she has pictures of bicycling. She has pictures of um, immigrants coming from Ellis Island. A lot of things that the wealthy didn't really like to talk about, she liked to, she liked to capture, which also added to her complexity. Um, photography wasn't even considered her actual career, but just a hobby, which is why it wasn't until very late in her life that it was actually discovered and she actually became known for her photography. She was forced to sell her home due to inability to pay mortgage, to pay her mortgage after the stock market crashed. She entrusted her friend Lauren McMillan with all of her glass plate negatives, which he kept safe, you know, for her when she wanted. It was later on that he was actually inquired about the negatives for a book that was being published about the history of American women, and Austin's photography was discovered as being very, you know, very captivating and very obviously very well done so people took notice in it and they were then displayed. Alice actually um, received one-third of the profits from those displays which was able to get her out of the poorhouse and into a nursing home. She was only like I said she was only there for five months until she passed away. Um, Alice produced about 8,000 photos in which 3,500 are still in existence today. Um, a few things, a few fun facts about her include that she, her house is preserved and open to the public as a historical landmark and museum. It is present on Staten Island. They often called it the, called it clear comfort. She had a garden in the front. That's where her and Gertrude lived most of their lives. Gertrude actually lived, went back to her family after they lost their home, but they didn't take in Alice because they didn't approve of her life as it was suspected, and or they just couldn't financially support having Alice and Gertrude to take care of. Um, she was quite scandalous, especially because of her relationship with Gertrude since they were suspected lovers, which at the time was not approved of at all. Um, this is reflected in her work, like her scandalous life, because she photographed beyond social conventions. The pictures include a minister's daughter smoking in a church, pictures of women embraced, pictures of women in bed together, pictures of women cross-dressing, um, immigrants and poverty, which weren't subjects for photography because they were not looked well upon. She was a very she was a free spirit. She was extremely independent. She rode a bicycle. She was the first woman on Staten Island to even own a car. She definitely did not follow any type of social conventions. And today, the Alice Wilson House even embraces what she stood for and her relationship with Gertrude because they now even march in the gay pride parade under their own banner.